in its first attempt to fly using the unproven high-speed rotor spin, Ingenuity decided to abort the flight. It was cleared for a second chance this past week, so how did it do? Tango Delta. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. In an ironic twist, Ingenuity's remarkable success led to its first failure last month. Blame it on the change in season on Mars. Turns out that Ingenuity has lasted so far beyond its originally planned one month of flights that summer has arrived in the northern hemisphere of Mars. And that causes thinning of the atmosphere, which was already only about 1% of the density of Earth's atmosphere. So Ingenuity faces a new challenge as some of the CO2-rich atmosphere freezes out on the South Pole, where it's the winter season. The way for Ingenuity to get more lift in the thinner air is to spin its twin rotors even faster, so 2700 RPM instead of 2500. First it did a spin test at 2800 RPM on the ground. Here's the before and after images under Ingenuity and a rock hammer for scale. You can see the change in position of the rotor shadows, but that's it. Not a single grain of sand was disturbed despite four foot long rotors spinning at 2800 RPM, less than two feet off the ground. This shows that the extremely thin air produces barely any prop wash. As I described in episode 26, this spin test may have led to the failed pre-flight test known as the servo wiggle, but the problem was not reproduced in subsequent wiggle tests. So Ingenuity was cleared for a flight that was intended to be short and simple. Spin up to 2700 RPM, fly 5 meters straight up, about 16 feet, translate a couple of meters sideways, then land 23 seconds later. The sideways translation was designed to avoid landing on a sand ripple. During the previous flight on Sol 193, Ingenuity came down right at the edge of this ripple. Although the risk is low, landing on the sloping side of this ripple could be hazardous, so better to shift away from it. Here's how it looked from the air as Ingenuity approached its landing zone. And through the magic of video editing, I can give you a sense of how the landing might have looked. The big day was on Sol 241, October 24th on Earth, when Ingenuity successfully executed its 14th flight. Only three of the NavCam images have been downlinked so far, but they show the descent phase with a clear offset from the ripple where it took off. This simple test flight shows that Ingenuity can continue to explore Jezero Crater in the coming weeks and maybe months, using a rotor spin rate faster than was ever tested on Earth. <laughs>